There's a lot of things happening um, down there in New Orleans. Uh, Michael Thomas, wide receiver of the Saints for a while, formerly of the Ohio State University. Stud wide receiver. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Riddled with injuries that kind of happened at unfortunate times and recoveries that didn't, you know, connect and happen as quick as I think everybody had hoped. But a massive talent, a massive talent, and made a lot of big time plays for the Saints. He just said, you know what, it needs to be said. He's done mm-hmm. with it. Jeff Duncan is a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeff Duncan is a hoe. Trying to stay relevant, so let's speak on it. The Saints leak information to him to try to ruin players' value. But see, I'm not broke, so I can speak on it. He is broke, so he needs clicks. <laughs> Go look at all his articles that never end up being true. Jeff Duncan, funny how they plan on releasing me if I was on a one-year deal, dummy. Don't fall for it. The same dude that tried to be my friend in season after saying I wasn't the same player in training camp. Hashtag next topic. The only reason why I bring this up, not because Michael Thomas dunked on the Duncan. We don't know the Duncan. No. And we appreciate the Duncan covering football for all these years. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That first sentence is awesome. I don't know you. I do know Michael Thomas. He... He and you do not get along, apparently. He's second, no, no, not no. right now. I don't no. think you two are friends right now. I just want to do some journalism and look in, uh, in between the words that he's saying there, three-letter words, two of the first sentence. But this goes into the whole we're in the middle of lion season right now. Yeah. yeah. We got to remember that. you know. Like, And we're players, I guess, and Michael Thomas is as well. So maybe you buy into the conspiracies a little bit more. But whenever you see stuff that isn't true at all being ran with and like gone and potentially affecting things in the future, it's like, this has to be on purpose. And then you start talking to people that are like ex GMs and in those positions, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are certainly doing it. What was his name? The guy who owned the. Uh, David Sampson. David Sampson. Oh, yeah. Do you remember this? He came on our show. He was what? Former president? Yeah, of the Marlins. Which is a baseball team. Correct. Yes. They're they're good. Florida oh, yeah. Marlins. Uh, yeah, they they won a World Series yeah. within the last twenty years. So you could say they're good. Mm-hmm. Hey, congrats to the Marlins. They they yeah. blow. Not great no, right they, now. They made the playoffs last year. He came on our show, and he he's a part of Lebetard's crew, I do believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He came on our show, and he would give us MLB updates, and he he is electrifying yeah. when he's talking. Mm-hmm. And he was a president of a of an MLB team. That's a pretty powerful position. Mm-hmm. So, like, when you start asking him about that type of stuff, and he just starts, like, talking about his experience and other things like that, you start, like, damn, that must be normal. He said, yeah, you know, whenever you're thinking about releasing a player that is very popular with your fan base, you start releasing rumors about, about you know, he's a bad teammate, mm-hmm. he's, he's doing this. Clubhouse so, cancer. Clubhouse, yeah, they don't like him. He's asking for ice, his 10 pieces of ice in every water. You start, you start leaking these types of things that aren't true about him so that the fans are like, oh, yeah. So whenever you inevitably trade your best player, they're like, wow, we didn't need him. We need to get him out of here. And he goes, and I don't know why we can't all just get along. It's like. Did you hear what you just said, what you've been doing to players? He goes, oh, if you think I created that, I got a bridge for you in Brooklyn (laughs) that I could sell or whatever. And it was like every time we hear people that are – that's baseball, obviously. That's the MLB. But, like, the way he talks about it and what Lombo says about what's coming out, it's like everybody is potentially full of shit right now. And we as journalists have to remember that. Yes, we do. Don't we, we, AJ? Weed through it. Yeah, we got to sift through the garbage somehow. How do we do that? Like, I don't know if Jeff Duncan's a hoe. Don't yeah, know. we don't know that, but we we don't know. We do know that the the part of that situation was Michael Thomas's contract. He in his contract it says the Saints have to release him. I think on March thirteenth. So like, Duncan reporting that the Saints plan to release him was is just like him getting out there. That's why Michael Thomas was pissed. It's him getting out there to get clicks, clicks, and making Thomas Michael Thomas look bad. Like the Saints are like, oh, you're done. We're releasing. Hey, Jeff Duncan, let's go for you. You guys are gonna get back on good grace. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, right. Go get sure. some ice cream. Or they won't. Definitely, definitely. They need to shake hands. Go, go shake their hands. Yeah.